For many rail travellers and enthusiasts, Flying Scotsman was an icon of the steam era on the East Coast Main Line and a magnificent example of the London and North Eastern Railway's policy of building fast and powerful locomotives to link London and the North of England and Scotland at express speeds. The LNER Pacifics handled ECML passenger workings for over 40 years and could still be found on mainline duties well into the 1960s, with design modifications carried out under British Railways giving the locomotives a new lease of life. From the 1920s to the 1960s, a variety of Pacific designs dominated passenger workings on the East Coast Main Line, and the jewels in the crown of steam traction were the A4 Pacifics designed by Sir Nigel Gresley, the London and North Eastern Railway's chief mechanical engineer throughout the 1930s. However, steam's role declined rapidly in the early 1960s with the introduction of diesel locomotives that would ensure the elimination of steam traction by the end of the decade. Of course, freight workings were the major revenue earner on the East Coast Main Line, and these unglamorous but vital workings were the lifeblood of the route. But for many, the strongest appeal of East Coast Main Line operations lay with the sight and sound of a Pacific at speed or momentarily struggling to restart a heavy train on a greasy rail. And these sites, combined with a wide variety of other workings, form the focus of Marsden Rail Volume 32, King's Cross to York. <laughs> 